Hello, my name is Mike Mansell. I'm a Services Administrator with the Wild Ride IRC Network. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of registering your nickname, your online handle, with Wild Ride's NickServe services. Um, just to give you an idea what that is, everything that you do whilst on Wild Ride is associated with your nickname, your online identity. Uh, be it channels that you register down the road, channels that you obtain voice or operator status in, vhosts if you're going to be looking at doing that, all of that is associated with your nick, your identity on Wild Ride. So obviously if you're going to be you know, part of the Wild Ride community, it's definitely worth it to go ahead and register your nick. There's no cost or anything behind that, you know, just something that you're going to want to have. Um, your first benefit there is obviously that it's your nick. Nobody's going to be able to impersonate you down the road. And then you have the handful of other things that I explained just a second ago. So first off, we're going to connect to Wild Ride. Uh, to do that, we're just going to open up any IRC client. Here I have a pretty stock version of XChat uh, that's available for both the uh, Windows and Linux platforms. You also have um, Textual, which is available for Mac OS X. Uh, you can also use our web-based chat client at wildride.org forward slash chat. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect now. Now, once I connect, I'm going to want to choose a nick to, that's mine, obviously. Um, so go ahead and s use the forward slash nick and space the nick that you want to register. So I'm just going to put buddy. Okay, and I'll go ahead and register that. I always recommend you put some thought into your nick because it's going to be something you're going to want to keep. You can change that down the road, mind you, but it's just good practice to keep, pick something now and stick with it. Once you've connected and you're nicked over, go ahead and register that with NickServe by typing in forward slash NS, which stands for NickServe. Register, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R. And then a password. I always recommend keep something secure here, but nothing overly complicated that you won't be able to remember. In this case here, I'm going to drop this nick as soon as I register it. So I'm just going to use test1234 as the password. Then the next option here is your email address. That's something that you're going to want to definitely uh, put a valid email address there. We don't check emails for validity. You could very well put whatever you want there. But in the event that you forget your password down the road or something like that happens, always good to have your real email address there so we can get, get in touch with you. We don't put you on any mailing list or anything, so there's no need to worry about that. So I'm just going to put, obviously that's not my real email, but it works. And you'll see right here, NickServe has sent me a confirmation that the nickname Buddy has been registered, and services.wildride.org has set mode plus R, which means I'm officially registered. That's more or less all you have to do here to get a registered NIC. Um, say you disconnect, say you disconnect and come back, and it says, you know, Buddy is a registered NIC. So how am I going to tell it that that's me? It has the directions right here. Uh, there's a slightly simpler way to say forward slash identify and your password. And you're accepted and you're registered, you're recognized. And you can go ahead and use Wild Ride just as you normally would. Uh, thank you for looking at this video today. Hopefully this gets you started on Wild Ride. If you have any questions, feel free to pop in the help channel. Just do forward slash join hash help. Uh, you can also go ahead and use wildride.org forward slash chat if you can't connect. That's a web-based chat client, and we should be able to help you from that. Thank you, and have a great day.